lantern, a bull whip, and tattered clothes. Either one of them is in disguise or the West Agency has fallen on some hard times. You like that ass? My ugliness repels you. You can think of nothing else. <laughs> but you're fine. If Igor can't have you, no one else will. Yeah, I'd call that hard times. Who is this nut and how did he get honey into this predicament? <laughs> wow, what a convincing bear. It's true they can stand on their hind legs like that. They don't like to walk that way because it's awkward and slow. If a bear needs to walk, it'll drop to all fours so it can move faster and more smoothly. The guy in that suit didn't do his homework. Igor, stop! Who's that guy? He's the star. Somebody yells cut and we realize we're making a movie. Honey is acting as a stunt double for the leading lady. Miss West, you were great. Just great. Well, you hired me to double a movie star. I had visions of grandeur. Well, stunt girl is not an easy job. After all, the girl you replaced was killed. That's why she's here. The studio wants to get to the bottom of it. I did that stunt exactly the way she did. I can't find any indication of murder. Well, it's happened before with stunt people. You lay out a stunt, then you miss your mark. Ordinarily, it would pass as an accident. Except for that phone call. Tell me again exactly what she said. Well, she said she had to see me on the set immediately. If there was something going on in the studio, I ought to know. More specifically, that's why she's here. The girl knew something and wanted to tell it. Did someone arrange a fatal accident to keep her from doing so? That question is Honey's assignment. Where's Sam? Oh! <laughs> Fine, fine. Print that one. All right, boys, let's move over there for another setup. Now bring in the real bear for his close-up. Sam Bolt, you sure do have talent. Where did you think he'd be? And instead of Sam Bolt, shouldn't he now be Sam Bear? He's been asking questions and coming up with nothing. Who knows, maybe it really was an accident. Everybody around here seems to be one big happy family. Will you creep me out of bust your head? Juggle! But juggle! You don't want somebody else to get killed. Well, all right, all right, break it up. What's going on? Oh, juggle just got a little sore. I told him the noose looked a little off center. Hey, even big happy families have their squabbles. Honey's supposed to do a hanging stunt later. Jago was the guy who settled up. The other guy is Twilly, the head of the prop department, and Jago doesn't like the prop man questioning his work. You see, this noose is lined up. And this trap door is solid. Like a rock. There's no way it can open unless I work the pulley. Now, Twilly, you mind your own business. Stick to your props. But, Jago, I didn't mean any harm. I was just concerned for the new girl, that's all. Forget it, Twilly. It's okay. Jago's just a sorehead. There's a great way to calm him down. Call him names. Honey is supposed to be part of a street fight next, so she goes to find her protective pads. That takes her to props and the man we just met, Twilly. They spend some time discussing how he had to fire his assistant for various reasons. But he doesn't have her pad. Special effects handles those. That's Jago's department. Oh! Oh! I'm so sorry. Now, now, don't worry about it, miss. But it's an antique. No, it's just a copy. Everything in here is phony. Not that chair. Sure. Made right here in the studio. A good prop department can pull off that sort of thing, and it takes an expert to see the difference. Look, that's magnificent. That belongs in a museum. You like it? Well, you be a good girl, and I'll have them make you up a half a dozen. Case in point. Let's get to that street fight. Action! 
I'm not afraid of you or your hired killers. Leave her alone. Go away. Don't touch me. Go. Now we can talk just you and me. Cut! Hold it. Don't move. Let's check the positions. Send in the double. My public is calling. Good luck. This should be good. We know what a good fighter Honey is. Action! <laughs> Now dump her in the mud. <laughs> Cut! Honey is getting to experience the real Hollywood. The director will gush over Miss Dawn and tell her she was magnificent while everybody ignores Mud Lady. Sam got a nice chuckle out of that, but he's still thinking about that gallows. Honey assures him it's perfectly safe. She'll show him. All I have to do is put my head through the noose. And they rescue me in the scene. Hey, hey, don't do that. Let me test it first. Relax, Sam. The trap door is locked, see? Here's an idea. If she's supposed to be rescued, eliminate the trap door altogether. Make a fake one that doesn't open. Duh. But it's clear now that somebody's trying to kill her, too. She wants to get a look at the raw film in the cutting room so they'll hang around until everybody leaves and then do what they do. You got the scene all set up? Yeah. All the dungeon stuff. Which one is me? This is you and this is a stunt girl. All right, we'll match it frame for frame. Are you right. ready? The action reveals that not only was the stunt woman on the wrong mark, the beam fell in the wrong place, too. You're right. That stunt was rigged. So it was murder, Sam. Furthermore, an examination of the gallows revealed that it was rigged to kill Honey when she did the stunt. The question is why? Sam wants to check the stage, even though there aren't any stunts scheduled for the next day. The stage has a nice couch on it, and Honey is going to take advantage of it. What is it I know that I don't know? What a time that must have been. What a time. She'll have a Perils of Pauline type dream sequence about being in an old silent movie. I have to say he looks better as a clock than he does in that ridiculous stereotype outfit. This sequence goes on forever and includes her in a flapper getup doing the Charleston with Sam, now in 20s garb. A lot of it feels like filler, but there really is a point. See if you can spot what it is. I think her brain is trying to answer her question, but like all dreams, it's doing it in the weirdest way possible. Still, when she wakes, she has the answer. Well, there's no clock here. But there is one here. Take a look. Sam, that clock is real. I knew it when I was in the prop room. Remember the stunt girl's hobby was antiques? That's why he killed her. They're using the movie prop storage to move stolen antiques, such as that clock she saw. Needless to say, there's no filming going on tonight and nobody left any dirty dishes lying around, so there's no reason for a caterer to be here. Guess what it's really for? Move fast. We gotta get this stuff off the lot tonight. You said we could stash it here after the heist until we fenced it. Well, was it my fault that jerk assistant put the stuff on the set? Yeah, but that stunt girl, we didn't bargain for murder. Well, that's just one of those things. She saw the clock and knew it was an antique. And we're going to have trouble with this new girl because she saw the clock too. Meek, quiet little Twilly is the mastermind. 
Now I'm wondering if that little scene between him and Jago by the gallows was staged. Shall we wrap it up? Whatever you say. But which way? I'll go that away. I'll go that away. We'll head him off at the pass. Oh, don't get all pious and stuffy about the Western type dialogue. Most people never get a chance to talk like that in such an appropriate setting. Admit it, if you got the chance, you'd do the same thing. So would I. Twilly, your time is up. Bad guy goes for a weapon. We knew that was going to happen. For all the good it did him. But where's Sam? Did he go to a different pass? See, Honey went to the inside pass, Sam went to the outside. Good plan. Looks like somebody didn't get the memo that this operation has been shut down. In keeping with her sweet, helpful nature, Honey will enlighten him. Okay, he got the message, or at least he put the picture down. You know, there's a special way that stunt people do that so they don't get hurt. Maybe he should have learned it before he did that. Another hombre bites the dust. Cut, print, that's a wrap. Oh wait, we need the big showdown. Ma'am, I give up. Mr. Burgess has come to Honey wanting to talk about a movie contract. I know I usually have some kind of silly quip or wrap up for these reviews, but I can't do any better than the show. So I'll say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. I ought to discuss it with Sam first. Oh, I hope you can get him to see it our way. I think I can convince him. Because I tell you, Sam Bolt is the greatest bear personality the screen has ever discovered. Did I hear somebody mention my name? Mr. Burgess, you want Sam? Well, of course, he's marvelous. Of course, I'm marvelous. Don't lose your head. <laughs>